So this is a frame and we've got honey around the outsides. Andrew Hamilton's honey business north of Regina has been sweet over the past few years, but he says this summer has left him feeling a little sour. The honey season has not been great. Um, I extract honey for other people as well. And uh, same story I'm hearing from pretty much everyone. It's, I know of one person who says they're having a good year, but everyone else is, there's just no honey out there. Hamilton says beekeepers are dealing with low honey production this year. The warm winter and wet spring meant plants weren't able to produce as much nectar as normal. Less nectar for honeybees means less honey for us. On a normal year, we're looking at 200 pounds per colony. Um, this year, we're going to be closer to, I'd say, between 80 and 100. It's, it's way down. In the southeast community of Francis, Gary Keller is also feeling the struggle. He sells his honey at Regina's Farmer's Market. I'm thinking it's going to be about 50% of our normal production. We've been very successful with the honey production the last four or five years, six years. So it's just one year that's going to be a little lighter than past years. Experts say Saskatchewan is usually one of the top producers of honey per hive across Canada. And the lack of nectar isn't the only problem. Health issues and diseases also increasing in Saskatchewan bee colonies. One, we've had a lot more of a bacterial disease called European foul brood, which is um, which we've had to deal with. So it's been a big bee health issue uh, across the whole province at uh, levels we haven't seen before. Honeybee eating pests known as Varroa mites are also beginning to crop back up. They are tiny reddish brown external parasites of honeybees, and they're actually one of the most damaging honeybee pests in the world. The mites are currently much, much higher than typical, and at this time year and so we have we are, we are letting beekeepers know that they need to get out there take care of the health of their bees with the warm growing season starting to draw to a close beekeepers say there isn't enough time for things to turn around it's also too early to project next year's season so for now they tell me in the true farming way that they are hopeful for better luck next year tariq reed cbc news regina